Hey, hey you guys, it's Adrian Capricorn Tigress of astrologyalookinside.com and I am coming to you with the mid-May, uh, well, tarot reading and also it is the new moon in Gemini reading, uh, tarot reading. And this is going to be for the sign of Capricorn. Hi, Capricorn. My fellow Capricorns. Capricorn brothers and sisters. Okay, so this is Capricorn Tigress. As you probably can figure out, I was born with Capricorn Sun and a Capricorn Rising. And I'm a Capricorn Tiger. But this is all about you, Capricorns. Let's see. What Divine Spirit wants to tell you for the next couple of weeks. Actually, this is going to, this is actually for the rest of May. Because um, the new moon happens on the 22nd. Uh, everything changes over around, you know, the 21st when the sun goes into Gemini. Next day the moon goes into, um, into Gemini. But um, today is the 14th almost. Well, technically it's probably the 15th already. So we're mid, we're mid month. And so this is going to be my last, um, you know, for the month, uh, I've got other readings, but this is the mid month tarot reading and I'm just covering that new moon so that you can prepare for it. It's only a few days away, you know, about a week away. So let's go ahead and, um, I'm just going to shuffle a few more times. I do want to let you guys know that, um, this Gemini, um, new moon Capricorn is going to be happening in your sixth house sixth house and so the sixth house is health first and foremost foremost I want to say this because I know I've had it off and on for years but during May during Gemini season I often get allergies um, hives itches nasal drip you know, summer colds, all of that. So I want to warn Capricorns in particular to be wary of that because, you know, now we've got COVID and you don't want to go out, you know, out there sneezing and huffing and whatever. People will panic first of all. But, you know, I just don't want you to do anything or get anything that might make you more susceptible. So be aware of that. If you've got to, go get some... Um, Allegra or Surtec or whatever it is, I keep Benadryl in my house. I mean, it makes you a little sluggish, but it helps to get rid of hives. So that might be something you have to contend with. Other issues may be some, you know, a lot of people have gained weight uh, over the last few months because of COVID. So some Capricorns might be uh, taking up an exercise regimen, even at home. Maybe you'll do something like dancing. That's very Gemini new moon. I think a lot of people are going to uh, take up dancing. And um, I can see how that's going to become a big thing. Um, I really do over the next few weeks. Especially, I think, for Capricorns. I see a lot of dancing for Capricorns. Also, lots of salad. Lots of salad. I see lots of salad eating for Capricorns. Some cards came out. I'm going to keep them out. Um, but yeah, lots of salad, because salad is really big for Gemini in the sixth house. I, I recommend salad for uh, Capricorns anyway, uh, you know, because Gemini naturally is there in the sixth house. Um, and dancing, I think, you know, for circulation, if nothing else. Also, you know, it could be clerical things, because a lot of, um... Gemini in the sixth house tends to work clerical work and cler doing clerical things. So I think a lot of Capricorns are going to uh, be dealing with clerical uh, administrative type things like typing, reports, holding web webinars, uh, you know, typing out proposals, talking on the phone. I mean, a lot of uh, willing and dealing the way people used to do it is no longer viable because we have to do all that kind of willing and dealing over the internet or over the phone. And that is it. You know, you 
if you're lucky, maybe you've got, um, you can do it over Skype or, or Zoom, but um, you know, that, that's it. So, uh, you know, some Capricorns might not like that. I mean, you know, it, it, some people don't like uh, th that, that kind of exposure, or, you know, teleconferencing and all that kind of stuff. I think it's just the, the new way of doing business. I've been feeling that way for quite some time, uh, you know, basically. And so I can see where this is going to affect some Capricorns in that way. They'll, you know, a lot of Capricorns are Skyping more or Zooming more or learning new ways of communicating on the Internet and to other people that they might not have, um, you know, utilized before. So... It'll be interesting to see how that works out. Okay, so you guys, I've I played around with these cards. Oh, I've got a couple of more. And we did get some, but I don't think I have enough. So I'm just going to ask Divine Spirit to give me a few more cards. Divine Spirit, please show me uh, clearly the cards that you want. There it is. That's what I mean. Show me clearly the cards you want uh, me to share, you know, uh, with Capricorn. What is it? Uh, I see a couple here, but yeah, show me clearly the ones that stick out and pop out. Those are the ones I'm going to grab. So I think we might even have enough cards, but I'm going to see if I can get a few over. Maybe to help me clarify whatever story we get, Capricorn. Show me clearly whatever this message is that, uh, you know, there we go. I wonder if I got enough cards. Let's see here. So we've got, uh, this came out, it was crossed by this, and uh, we've got two extra cards here, oh wow, okay, mm hmm, hmm, I can't see which is which because when I look at those cards, it's telling a specific message. Very much so. And, you know, here's the funny thing. It, the moon came out in reverse. So I'm going to look that up because the moon in reverse is a very specific message. And this is the first card. This is the this is the card that reflects the starting point, the, the card that represents the present, you know. So, okay. So this is what the moon in reverse uh, is. 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 This is frequent mistakes, Capricorn. An emotional dilemma. Oh, Cap. Really? With an emperor? Is it a, some a frequent mistakes and emotional dilemma about leading, about taking control, about being a leader, about being powerful, about exerting your ego? Let, let's, um, let's look at this emperor again. Someone else had the emperor in a major spot, but... Yours is crossing your main card. So this is strength. You know, okay, so, you know, here are some frequent mistakes, an emotional dilemma. You might be having trouble maybe dealing with, uh, you know, dealing with this power. But you are powerful and you do have strength. This came out in the upright. Okay, this came out in the upright. So this is a strength. It's... Don't be afraid to speak your mind and, and don't be afraid to have strong opinions and, you know, make a decision and, and be strong in what you believe in. Promote yourself at work. Um, go for advancement. Go for being successful. It's a great time for you to make money. It's a great time for you to, to have power and to get more power. It's a great time to be ambitious. It's a great time to be self-assertive and, and fearless. These are the things that it's showing me here. And is this telling me that you're going to be moving away from uh, whatever situation you were in? Maybe you were in a bad situation. Maybe you were in something that made you doubt yourself and, and had you making mistakes and and being fearful and stuff, but that's over because you're the queen of coins, Capricorn. You're going to be able to make money. This is money here. Queen of coins, you're, you, this is a strong and successful uh, woman, this queen of coins. I'm going to give you the queen of coins message here. It says, 
a caring, sensitive female, or, you know, just feminine energy, you guys, if it's a man listening. Usually artistic, creative in her appearance, a good listener, loyal, generous, protective. It's a time of economic balance and enjoyment of luxury and comfort. It's a bright economic outlook. Wow. And then you got the king of staffs. This is another card about being a leader. It's another card about taking the lead and making a decisive action. It could be a thin stature male, but that's usually about taking the lead. And you've got some kind of communication that's going to be coming in. Um, I think that's going to help you to, you know, to do this. Because I believe two of points is the, the communication you're waiting for. Yeah, written communication. So maybe you're waiting for a proposal. Maybe you're w waiting for uh, an agreement or some type of... Um, publication or something to do with communication of some kind because this also could be legal notices it could be credit uh, approvals it could be invitations to take more credit like i keep getting those credit karma things um it could be uh some frustration because of stuff like this so be careful with whatever papers that you're signing and whatever kind of agreements you're getting into because people might get you involved in things that later you might have a hard time getting out of so and i think if you are dealing with something like that like um, an agreement or waiting for a proposal or a contract or anything like that you might actually be worried over that I mean, I, this could be trying to get word or, or, or closing the deal on something, a major communication, like say on a divorce papers or something like that. But you've been not even getting a lot of sleep. You've been so worried over something. But I want you to know that, you know, there is some devoted loyalty here. This is the card of loyal devotion. This could be that it's coming in from you. It could be that, you know, you. Got, I'm going to pick up this Two of Swords here and read this here. Yeah, this Two of Swords. Let me read this card so you get a real good idea. Two of Swords. This is a card of honor. This is honor and respect and affection. It's a strong friendship, physical closeness. A reliable source of strength so that's coming from somewhere it's a choice between two things look for people who offer friendship and mutual respect for guidance so let that you know be your your radar your guide uh, you know who who respects you who's loyal to you who's treating you well who who's offering friendship right and who's offering mutual respect but you're, you're being told if you are looking to make a decision that you need to go off and, and make that decision, uh, you know, believe, have, be, take a chance, have faith. Oh, yes. Have faith in a relationship. I was wondering if this was about a relationship. This is about a relationship. Lord, this is emotional fulfillment. You're going to be emotionally fulfillment, fulfilled if you... You're going to have some kind of loyal devotion coming in affection. And I believe that um, you're going to have emotional fulfillment. I know you've been worried over it. You're worried here. But look, you're the queen of staffs. You get to make, a, you are strong. You are a very strong person. I mean, don't let any petty jealousies or worries or anything like that or upsets or concerns of the past, any of that worry you now be a dominant female if you are a female or this is just dominant female energy it, simple in her pleasures likable loyal a strong mother a very strong and loving person very responsible and caring individual you can trust what this person says i think it's just loving caring nurturing giving something a good relationship might be coming in I really believe that. So let me do what I usually do when I take the cards and pull them apart and look for my little special messages and stuff of that nature. So I'm going to do that. And I want to say, I'm going to tell you guys something in just one second. This is amazing when I take these cards apart and I see things that I didn't see before. And in this, when I look at this, we've got two fours and two twos, a five and a six. And I, you know, when I look at this... I know you've been worried, but, you know, stop worrying about the past. The past is over. 
You don't have to worry about the past no more. That past is done. Because you're going to get some kind of communication that I think is going to let you let go of the past and move on to a more loyal, loving relationship. I really do. And I, I believe that because I see here, now there is an extra queen. There's two queens and a king. But we got a king of staffs and a queen of staffs. That's a couple. We're talking about a couple here. We're talking about a couple here, okay? Maybe there was an extra third party or queen involved, but we're talking about a couple. And maybe, it, you know, this this was saying that, you know, it's about you making mistakes and maybe in business or something like that. But I'm thinking myself, this could just be that it's the end of deception. Like, it's done. Like, you've seen it. Because the moon upright is to being deceived and lied to but maybe you you're done with it you see through it you know and you're making an de executive decision you're putting an end to that stuff you're a leader maybe you're gonna uh, you know do something with the uh, documents to put an end to it go out on a, a limb take a chance be a leader make the decision if the other person's not doing it you do it you take the bull by the reins and you do that okay all right capricorn this is your time, this is your month, where your leadership skills are going to be called into action. All right? If anyone's a leader, it's you, Cappy. I believe in you. I believe in this emperor. Yes, indeed. Might be dealing with an uh, Aries, though. It could be that. But with the couple here, the king and the queen of staffs, you know, if it's about a relationship, go for it. Go out on the limb. Believe in yourself. Believe in a relationship. Take a chance. Make it happen. Be strong, Cap. And you'll manifest what you desire. All right? Many blessings to you. And if you haven't already done so, take a moment to like and share our videos and to subscribe to the channel. And if you haven't already done it, go by the website to the website blog at astrologyelegantside.com. That's astrologyalookinside.com. And be sure to uh, subscribe to the blog website there at astrologyalookinside.com. Also, you can like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash astrologyalookinside. And follow us on uh, Instagram at instagram.com slash astrologyalookinside. Okay. Oh, and anyone is invited to join our group. And that's facebook.com slash groups slash astrology a look inside i do free readings there sometimes all right blessings to you all bye